We're at NASA in Florida today, the social thingy at NASA. And first thing we have to do is have a dog sniff us. It's a good way to start the day. Dog is gonna come and sniff. Sniff, 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 sniff. Stop recording. <laughs> real air. Here we are. And there's the real security. Right there. Sniff, 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 sniff. Get in on the ghetto bus. Oh. Heat zone. Yeah, the heater works. Woo. Remember, if Reggie is not on the bus, it is not the right bus. That is the launch control center. That is where the launch director and his launch team conduct their countdown polls. We're in the media room. Meet big camera, little camera. Back in the 1980s, scientists warned the public about the dangers of chlorofluorocarbons. Okay, mostly personalizing yeah. healthcare more and by understanding the genomic development cancer in some cases. And so that's why we think our drug may be safer than what's currently out there. A couple weeks ago, we had the Super Bowl, and I noticed that the people had the right jerseys. I'm thinking, do they just have a jersey for every team that could possibly win the Super Bowl? I mean, how do they get that up there? Someone's pretty smart and can launch these things ahead of time, and it takes a lot of a lot of prep. My bigger question was, did they send that football up inflated, or was it deflated? <laughs> Tom Brady had nothing to do with this because he was too busy being awesome. So here's the plan for today. I don't even know the plan. I'm just kind of going where they take me. I have this badge, and it takes us places. So we just sat in an hour and a half press conference. I even asked a question. It was the least scientific of every question that was there. Do they have a closet full of football jerseys? And right now we're gonna go in this building. At one point, this was the biggest building in the world as far as volume goes. And right now it is the tallest one-story building. It's huge. The stars on the flag are six feet by six feet. I'm six feet three. I could lay on one of those stars. That's how big that thing is. Doesn't look like that big of a building. And then you look at the size of the people. Look at that. Okay, we're inside of this thing as close as we can get. Don't go past this thing. This is ginormous. This is where they're gonna build the next rocket that's gonna take people to Mars, possibly. But 10 years from now, go back and look at this and you can check it out. I don't know why I get to be here. Got stuff open on the internet and now we get to come to some cool place like this. It's pretty awesome. How's it going over here? That was good. First yeah. little live stream on uh, your Instagram. Yes, and there's still people on there. Yeah. They like you more We've than got me. 407. Nice guys. I hope you had a nice conversation. I just filmed. I'm filming this for the vlog right now. This is where they make spaceships. Look how clean. I called dibs on that office right there. You see that? Up these stairs, across the platform, and then you're right in there. And oh no, no, matching offices! We can do races! <laughs> this guy right here is an actual astronaut. He's been up in space many times. That's where space people go. Astronauts. Rocket thing, rocket thing, water. We made it somewhere cool. This is an actual launch pad. It is much bigger than I thought. This launch pad over here, this is the launch pad where that's the actual rocket that should go tomorrow. Every astronaut that's ever taken off in America and gone into space is taken off from that launch pad right there. The flames go on an angle, it shoots down and out. This is part of the track right here. There's two tracks right there, so this one and this one, and of course the rocket would go in the middle. I'm surprised at how wide this space is, right? I shouldn't be, I mean, it's a spaceship. They just shoot the flames out to the ocean. They even have this metal thing that they put in there. Another really interesting thing, these four big antennas that look like they're radio antennas, they're actually lightning rods. And so they go up higher than what the rocket does, and then they have these cables up at the top that are kind of in a hexagon shape, and the rocket shoots right in between the middle of it. That's fascinating, that is smart. Look at this. It's this rock that is eight feet deep. This isn't just some regular rock they get in Florida. This is actually from the Tennessee River in Alabama. This rock is one of the only rocks that does not spark when it's squished together. And when you got a rocket full of rocket fuel, you don't want some sparks. You don't want some sparks. This thing goes all the way down there and then it turns to the right and it goes all the way over to that big building that we were in earlier. That's the trek that takes about eight hours, they said. I just really want to walk on this. They didn't say not to. Go. Look at that. 
There's like little tiny ones too. Tiny ones, big ones, smashed ones. Yeah. I don't know. It's a little squishy. Guys, I had to get off. But we got the shot. Yeah. <laughs> that can't be good for your tires. Tomorrow's event and SpaceX being here uh, side by side with NASA uh, is extraordinary for the space industry. It's extraordinary for SpaceX and I think it's great for the United States as well. That's positive. I like it how it's like Tesla, SpaceX, NASA, rocket. Okay. Okay. All these photographers have their cameras set up on the hill right here in these blast proof cases. There's more over here. Look at those guys. Look at those in the boxes so that they can get the shot because if they're right there and then they just leave them here remotely, then they've got the rocket that takes off right there and they've got a shot of it going straight up. Boom, 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 boom. Smart, man. These photographers are smart. We are done for the day with NASA. They didn't pay us to come down here. It was like this lottery to sign up for it. And I don't want to rant too bad about it, but there were some cool things we saw. There were, and it, that was nice of them to let us come, but I, I kind of wish there would have been a little bit more freedom in what we could have done. But now I'm in a happy place. We're back at our, our rental place. Check this out. Oh, look at this place. Yeah. Uh, okay, so we can go there tonight and see the rocket just sitting there with the all lit up, but it'll take like three hours. I'm gonna stay here and sleep. Maybe we'll get some drone shots here of the beach. I feel better already. Yes.